Okay, let's do a quick intro to handlebars templates. So if you're using the template project, you'll see that I use handlebars and you can get the full documentation here. But let me give you a quick run through. Now the problem we're trying to solve is that I have some embedded HTML here in our JavaScript and that's not really nice. It's not very easy to update or author. Um, so what I'd like to be able to do is to put that HTML here in my index.html. And with handlebars, you can do that and have it still be embedded into pages dynamically. And I'll show you how to do that. So what we need to do is add handlebar script tags to our HTML. So this is what it looks like. And in here, we can write any HTML we want. And so we'll paste this in, and we use these curly braces, or handlebars as it's called, to indicate fields in an object to pull out and to put into these locations. So when we pass the post object to this template, the post object being one of these, it'll pull out title and body and put it in to our template. Two things to notice before we move on. One, the script tag has an ID, post template. That's so we can pick it out later with jQuery and compile it using handlebars. Also, see that title has two curly braces and body has three. Two curly braces means you want any HTML to be escaped inside this field. And three means that you know it's safe and if there's any HTML you want to embed it there. You'd only do that if you know exactly where that string came from and it didn't come from the end user or from any users of the site. Now how do we get this to get embedded here? Here we go. So the first thing we need to do is make a template variable. I'll paste one in. And then in our initialize function, we need to use handlebars to compile that template into a function that we can call to generate the HTML. Here's how it looks. So we take our variable and call handlebars compile, and then we pass in the HTML from our template element. So using jQuery to grab the script tag and then using the .html to grab the internal HTML inside the template. We pass that to handlebars compile. It responds back with a function that we can use to call to create the real HTML we want. So now instead of doing this, we call that function and we pass in the post. This object has the title and body fields that are picked up by these handlebar expressions, title and body. So let's see that working. Same as before, but now we can, I'll show you that we can update this template. And have it show up. That little piece of text shows up here, Appomat at the end. Here it is in the second post. 